what is equatorial trap the equatorial trap is also known as the intertropical convergence zone ITCZ is a low pressure area located around the earth's equator where the trade winds of northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere meet this convergence of trade winds causes warm and moist air to rise leading to the formation of the cumulus clouds and thunderstorm the equatorial trap is characterized by heavy rainfall and humid conditions it migrates north and south seasonally based on the movement of the sun during the northern hemisphere summer the equatorial trap shifts northward and while during the southern hemisphere summer it shifts southward the equatorial trap has an important effects on global weather patterns and it is a major source of moisture for the regions around the equator it also plays an important role in the formation of tropical cyclones and hurricanes in the atlantic pacific and indian oceans formation of equatorial trap the equatorial trap forms as the result of the convergence of the trade winds from the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere near the equator the winds are prevailing easterly winds that blow from the east and the west in the tropics in the northern hemisphere the trade winds blow from the northeast towards the southeast while in the southern hemisphere they blow from the southeast towards the northeast as the trade winds of the two hemisphere converge near the equator they create an area of low pressure this is because the warm moist air from the both hemisphere rises and cools causing the water vapor to condense into clouds and precipitation uh, weather patterns occur around the equator and can affect global climate overall the formation of the itcz is a complex process that for that results from the interaction of multiple factors including solar heating trade winds and atmospheric convection equatorial trough has several characteristics that define its behavior and impact on weather and climate low pressure equatorial trough has low air pressure that results from the convergence of the trade wind of the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere then precipitation and humidity low pressure in the equatorial trough leading to the upward movement of moist and warm air this air rises and cooled water vapor condenses in cloud that leading to the heavy precipitation and high humidity then location the equatorial trough characterized inconsistent location around the equator then storm track the rainfall in the equatorial trough is not gentle rainfall that lasts for long period the next one is broad zone the equatorial trough has a broad zone that extend across the earth surface and the last one is seasonal movement the equatorial trough shift north and south seasonally in response to the movement of the sun equatorial trough over land and ocean precipitation the equatorial trough over the ocean tends to produce more rainfall than over land stability the equatorial trough over land tends to be less stable than over the ocean diurnal variation the equatorial trough over the land tends to have a greater diurnal variation than over the ocean topography the equatorial trough can be influenced by topography when it is over land impact on agriculture the equatorial trough can have significant impacts on agriculture in affected region overall the equatorial trough over land and ocean share may be on the same characteristics such as low pressure convection and seasonal movement there are some significant roles of equatorial trough formation of equatorial tropical cyclone and hurricanes the equatorial trough is a major source of atmospheric in instability and moisture which can provide the necessary conditions for the formation of tropical cyclone and hurricanes at in the atlantic pacific and indian oceans precipitation the equatorial trough is a major source of precipitation for the region around the equatorial equator including tropical rainforest and other ecosystem that depend on the high levels of rainfall number 3 impact of agriculture the equatorial trough can have significant impact of agriculture in the affected region it can provide much needed rainfall for crops while change in the intensity and location are in the in of the equatorial trough can lead to drought and other weather related disasters 
Number four, oceanic process. The equatorial shore can play an important role in oceanic process such as in the thermoline circulation. The equatorial throw can also influence ocean currents and fishing conditions. Number five, atmospheric circulation. The equatorial throw is a key part of the atmospheric circulation system which drives the movement of air and weather patterns around the earth. The impact of equatorial trap on weather. Number one, effects rainfall due to the variation of location. Number two, largest storm changes resulted severe droughts and flood. Number three, helps the formation of cyclone. Number four, generates often vigorous thunderstorm over large areas. Number five, it can causes turbulence and storms in the atmosphere which can affect air and sea travel. Number six, encounters some hazard associated with cumulonimbus cloud.